Happy Friday and thanks for watching This Week in Discovery News. I'm Trace and each week I recap the top stories of the last seven days plus your best social media comments. This week we're talking about PETA's new porn site, why Neanderthals lost to early humans, and vampire skeletons in Bulgaria. Our first story is... Vampire skeletons found in Bulgaria. Zombies may have dominated our coverage last week, but this week we've got vampires. It's an undead battle for the news cycle. In this case, the vampires in question weren't so much undead as actually dead. Archaeologists in Bulgaria found a couple of skeletons in a monastery graveyard that had iron rods piercing their chests. These are the latest in a series of over a hundred skeletons found across Europe with this problem. Why bury a skeleton with an iron rod through its chest? I'm glad you asked. So it doesn't rise from the dead, of course. If only we put an iron rod through our chest! Ah! But seriously, the ritual was aimed at keeping people who'd done evil or who'd died from strange illnesses or from just bad people in life from rising from the dead and feasting on human flesh. I mean, it makes perfect sense. Now, if you're in the camp that believes that vampires should be shiny-skinned teenagers residing in the Pacific Northwestern region, then listen up because I'm about to drop some science on you. Vampire legends originated from the disturbing appearance of corpses that had succumbed to the plagues that ravaged Europe between the 13 and 1700s. It was a time when decomposing corpses were not well understood, and the plague-ravaged towns were teeming with dead bodies. Today, vampires might be more pop culture than plague-infested death mysteries, but one thing still holds true, a stake through the heart still gets them. Find out more at discoverynews.com slash bulgarianvampires. Now that we've had a good bite of that story, let's move on to... Why humans prevailed over Neanderthals. 100,000 years ago, several human-like species walked the Earth. There were tribes of stocky Neanderthals eking out an existence in Europe and Northwest Asia, some cave dwellers off in Eastern Asia, some hobbit-like guys down in Indonesia, and over in Africa were some modern humans, more or less. Yep, it was a complicated place. And then 60,000 years ago, it got even worse when those modern humans living in Africa decided to migrate to the suburbs for their white picket fences and their penchant for backyard swing sets. As they invaded the lands of the Neanderthals, their smaller-lobed brethren couldn't compete with their big decision-making frontal lobes. That's right, size does matter. Even though the Neanderthals were stronger and more spry, in the end, brains won out over brawn. The scientists that were involved said it was more or less like the revenge of the nerds. Today, we're taking over everything, and we're almost too successful for our own good. If we don't rein in our big old brains, we're going to be in a bit of a pickle soon. Read more about our evolution and then subsequent world domination at discoverynews.com slash bigbrainancestors. Our brains might be big, but we are easily susceptible to some things, which brings us to our last story. PETA's porn site is now live. That's right, faithful viewers. PETA, the People for Ethical Treatment of Animals, have a pornographic website. The group, known for their outrageous and often controversial stunts, have outdone themselves this time. The banner that greets you when you go to PETA's porn site says, now that we have you here, let's turn you on to what we really are all about. It's not really an explicit website, but instead a collection of adult film stars who are advocating the ethical treatment of animals on PETA's behalf. In fact, the legendary Ron Jeremy is one of the main spokesmen for the site, and he says in the welcome video that the site contains some of the most explicit and jaw-dropping videos he's ever seen, and that's saying a lot. Be careful, though. While the sexy pics will lead you to a Jenna Jameson or a Sasha Gray talking about how vegetarians are better lovers, the hardcore section is actually really violent videos of cruelty to animals that were too explicit to be shown on television. What? Oh, no! Learn more about PETA's explicit website at discoverynews.com slash PETAXXX. So that's it for me. Thanks for watching This Week in Discovery News. Make sure that you like us on Facebook, you're following us on Twitter, and that you check out our Tumblr. You can also subscribe to our Discovery Daily Newsletter, and links to all of those are on our website, discoverynews.com. Keep commenting and tweeting. I read them all. And have a great week. We'll see you next Friday. All in one take. Perfect. No problem. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> you look so creepy. <laughs> I'm about to drop some science. This is great. Are you trying to be Richard Nixon? <laughs> All right, show me the magic. <laughs> Such a strange job where I can look at pornographic websites at work.